Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Dark Fate here. So, first off, I just want to say I haven't been able to get Skate 2 yet because I didn't pre-order it, so uh, GameStop hasn't taken people who haven't pre-ordered it yet, and Plane Trade hasn't had it in. So, anyway. But I did pick up Star Ocean 2 Second Evolution, or Star Ocean Second Evolution for the PSP. It's a remake of Star Ocean Second Story for PlayStation 1, and I picked it up in, in anticipation for uh, Star Ocean 4, The Last Hope, which comes out in February 24th, I think. So I'm, I was just getting amped up for it. And I must say, I haven't played, uh, Star Ocean 2 before, and this is an awesome game, so far. I mean, I'm not, this is a first impression, so I'm not doing a full review yet. But I think it's pretty good so far. So, uh, first off, we're gonna start off with the story, obviously. So the story, it basically is you take the role of either Reyna, I don't remember her. I don't remember her last name. Or um, Cloud, or not Cloud, Claude C. Kenny. Um, I've taken the role of Claude, and um, just so you know that Reyna is a main character in it, even if you don't choose her to play as. So she's the second main character. But anyway, so I chose Claude C. Kenny, and he is a uh, he's like a Federation officer for um, some kind of space fleet kind of thing. And they, him and his father and some troops go to this planet, I don't remember the name, it's not significant, and he basically tampers with this device that makes, that sends him to another world. And in Star Ocean, if you're not familiar with it, um, basically all futuristic cultures are all, um, I don't want to say modern, but like, advanced, there you go, advanced cultures. They are not allowed to use their technology in um, lesser advanced worlds, and he gets uh, transported to a lesser advanced world. And they have a prophecy. He has a he has a, a laser gun, and he meets Reyna in the forest when he because he um, is transported into the forest, and she's being attacked by this monster. So he goes in and um, fights it, and he uses this laser gun, and they have a prophecy in this world that there's something called the Hero of Light. And it was easily mistaken by his uh, laser gun that he ha was using the Sword of Light, which is what is prophesied that the warrior would use. And this kind of flings him into uh, the adventure. And so far, it's just, and there's this thing called the Sorcery Globe, which I don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's basically this uh, object or meteor that slammed into this planet and it's causing all these different um, occurrences to happen and right now I'm just inv and right now you take the role of Claude and you're just investigating things and meeting some new characters on the way obviously like all RPGs so I mean that's kind of a uh, taste of what the story is so far that I've seen uh, so let's move on to the sound department in this game um, Star Ocean, I, I've, my first Star Ocean I played was Star Ocean 3 actually to the end of time and I've always liked Star Ocean music. I think it's very good. It, um, it is a uh, a lot like Square Enix kind of music. Like it isn't, it isn't um unique in the sense that it's like super mem uh, memorable. Or you can if I if you played like two so similar tracks, you would probably not be able to tell the difference between which one it was. But um, the music is definitely good. I mean, you could tell that it's from the good old days when Square uh, Square uh, well Enix actually made this game. But you know what I mean. It was when RPGs were really, really, really good, and uh, this show is definitely. Um, but also, besides the music in this game, almost all the cutscenes, well, all the cutscenes, are voiced by voice actors and things like that. So I mean that's sweet. And also, if you're familiar with Evangelion or Nadesco, Spike Spencer does the voice of Claude C. Kenny, the main character in this game. If you want to see what Claude looks like, um, he looks like this. I don't know if you can see it very well. He's the blonde-haired dude, and Reyna is uh, the blue-haired girl. And, yeah, he does the voice of Spike Spencer. He does Reyna's voice. Um, 
Claudia Lenz. I'm not familiar with anybody but Spike Spencer in this. But I mean, <laughs> a little joke that my friend and I always have is, you can tell if it's a good game if it has a color booklet. And indeed, this has a color booklet. booklet. So I mean, <laughs> that's a good sign right there. But um, that's about it on the sound department. I think it's a, some, I think it's it's not like ultra top notch kind of sound uh, voice acting, but I mean it's it's good. And I like Spike Spencer. You could definitely tell it's him just by uh, the way he talks. And I mean, it's just I think it's good. The script is also very well written. Um, just on a side note, in the original game they had a, I'm pretty sure I haven't played the original because it's a rare PS1 game, and the reason I didn't get the PS1 version is because it cost like $100 on eBay, but um, I think the old version has animated cutscenes as well, but they redid the whole um, new, they did a whole new cutscene kind of things, and you'll probably, see, and you'll see that in the little opening clips I'll show you before uh, starting this. Um, we want to do the gameplay. If you're not familiar with Star Ocean game uh, battle system, it's it's a uh, active. T not I don't want to say active time. It's um, man, the word escapes me right now. It's I don't want to say it's just like active. Like you control the character, you uh, press the X button to attack and things like that. I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, I'm just gonna call it active time. So you actually control the character, where what he's doing, and you can control. You can have four people. You can have four people in your party at a time, and you can control either one of them if you by switching using the um, circle button. And you attack by using the X. And what I understand is from the original. Um, well, uh, in this version, you have three hit combos that you can do with the regular attacks. And in the original version, they didn't. They only had the one hit. Like, they'll press X once and he does an attack, press it again, he does the same attack. But there's like a delay in between each. But in this one, they have a three hit, and I hear that that makes this a lot easier. And I was wondering why, because I was blasting through this game, uh, like, easily. Like, the first boss I beat in under a minute. The first few bosses, actually, and I just thought that was kind of weird, so I was wondering, so I looked it up, and yeah, this game is a lot easier. I mean, it's easy. You won't, really, if you're getting stuck in this game, you just kind of stink, or. You just need to level up a little bit, but um, the battle system. If you're familiar with Star Ocean, no, it's, a, it's a lot like Tales, um, Tales of games. Um, it's just really, it's really fun. It's fast paced. I think they made the three hit just because it's a they made it into a handheld version, and people will be playing this on little intervals on like train stations, etc., uh, airplanes, uh, waiting and times like that. So I mean, I, I can understand why they did that, and I don't, I don't think that's bad. I mean. I, I like being able to go to the next story arc without having to grind for a long time. So the gameplay is good. Um, in enjoyability so far, I think it's a pretty good game. Uh, it You can definitely tell it's a Star Ocean. They do have private actions, if you don't that, don't know what that is. It's basically um, little... It's basically like little side story uh, things so you can get background on characters and things like that. So if you go to each, each new a city has an, a new private action and basically you just press the square button and it does a little cutscene kind of thing and then you get to run around town and you uh, converse with people and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty good so far. I hear that the story gets a lot more complicated or at least a little bit more complicated because right now it kind of does sound cliche. I can understand that. But I mean, I think the story is pretty good. But I hear it gets more complicated later on. I'm not extremely far, maybe not even ten hours yet. I think I, I think I'm at about like eight or nine. But uh, uh, so far, I'll give this game a nine out of ten. I think it's pretty good. It's it's not like extraordinary. I I think I enjoyed uh, Star Ocean three more. But I mean, it's definitely a good game. You could tell that it's not a lazy port of a game. I mean, they redid a lot of things in this. And um, I'll give you my full review on it later. So uh, catch you later, guys.